Next, I want to talk about making subtotals on your report. Sorting the report is not enough. What we have to do is add a group to do subtotals. So, for example, in this report, if we wanted to do a subtotal by expense type, then we would group by expense type. If we wanted to do a subtotal by country, then you would do a, sub, uh, a group by country. There's two ways you can add a group on the report. Uh, but I'll show you the one that I really use all the time. This is called uh, insert group. That'll allow you to do one group at a time, which is fine. I prefer this icon over here, which is called the group expert. The group expert will um, allow you to do more than one group at the same time, plus it'll allow you to manage your options. So everything I need to do really can be found under the group expert. Let's go in there. Notice that, notice that um, the group expert looks and feels a lot like the sort expert. They really are similar concepts. Uh, so once again, I said that I wanted to have subtotals by expense type. So we're going to group on expense type. We're going to double click on that. And you can see the group is now over there. You can have more than one group. Perhaps in your company, you want to see the results maybe by region and then by district and then by warehouse within the district. So if you want to uh, subtotal on all three of those levels, then you would group on all three of those levels. All right, so you can pick more than one. In this case, uh, it's, we're going to group it by expense type. Notice how it says A for a, uh, a sending. Let me show you how to change the sort order for your groups. We're going to pick on options down here. Now notice how it says in a sending order. So you're going to click on that pull down and you can make a descending order specified order means you would actually pick your own order that has nothing to do with alphabetical maybe you have a special ranking or something uh, so when you pick specified order you actually have to pick them one by one but at least it gives you the flexibility to do so and then the original order is the order that they appeared in the actual table so we're going to pick on a sending order I'm going to click on OK the way I got to that screen was the options over here under the group expert the group expert can be found on your toolbar. It's this icon right over here. When you move your mouse there, it should also say group expert. Let's see what happens when we make a group. I'm going to click on OK. OK, now let's go over to the uh, left-hand side here. For each different expense type, or for each different group, it added a group header. The group header will be, uh, appear at the top of each group. And then um, it also puts the group name in there. Now, you don't have to keep that there. You can delete that or change that. But as a default, I put the group name. I'm going to scroll down. At the bottom of each group, or in this case, uh, expense type, I have a group footer. Now, the group footer is where we're going to have our subtotals in a few minutes. But right now, the group footer is empty. But that, uh, you know that's going to be here at the bottom of each group, in this case, the expense type. So notice, just by adding the group, it makes the report a lot more legible. It's easier to read because now things are kind of sectioned off. Here's the entertainment section and then the gifts. If I go to the next page, and that's going to continue. We have, uh, it's going to continue with the gifts and then the hotel items and so on. So that, that's what we did by adding a group. But really, I wanted to show you how to make a subtotal. To add a subtotal, adding a group is necessary. So that's why I had to go through that first step. So let's say for each different expense type, we want to subtotal the US dollar amount. So watch where we're going to go. We're going to pick on this icon right over here. It's called Insert Summary. A summary can be either a subtotal or a grand total. So let's pick on that. It says, what field do I want to summarize? So I'm just going to move this window for a second. I want to summarize the US dollar amount. So we're going to pick on this pull down and you see there will be one that's called the US dollar amount. To calculate this summary, look at all the different types of calculations that you have. You have a sum, an average, a variance, a standard deviation, a minimum, and a maximum. So there's all these different types of calculations. A count is the number of different records or excuse me, the number of records. A distinct count is the number of different values within that field. So those can give you different results. The count is the number of records. The distinct count is the number of different values within that field. 
the nth largest? What's the fourth largest number? Or the nth smallest? What's the eighth smallest number? So uh, we can choose those kind of statistics as well. We can make n be anything we wanted it to be. You can also do percentiles. Uh, we have variance and standard deviation, the weighted average. So let's pick on some. I wanted to show you that all the other ones are available as well. Now here's the important part, the summary location. We want a subtotal, and the subtotal is going to go in the group. So that's very important. That's why you add the group first. Now you could add the group right over here where it says insert group. Personally, I find that confusing. I would have rather add my group first and then come in here and add the subtotal. But if you uh, forgot to add the sub, uh, if you add that, uh, forgot to add the group, you can do that right over here, as we can see. Now here's a new feature available for the uh, version 2008 only. If you click on that, it'll add the grand total at the same time. Before this version, we had to come back into the insert summary a second time to add our grand totals. Now we can just uh, click on that little box and it adds the grand totals at the same time. Notice down here we have the percent of total. Now the percent of total always existed in the previous versions as well. So it's built right in. That's how we can do a percent of total. Uh, so we picked on this icon over here. It's called insert summary. Let's see what happens when we click on OK. Now notice at the bottom of each section, or at the bottom of each group, uh, the expense type, we have a subtotal. And that's going to be the case all the way throughout the entire report. And uh, let's go to our next page. Notice how the subtotals continue on for each expense type. And then if I go to my bottom, uh, the last page, then we also have a grand total. Now you would probably want to put some text there. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to go back to design view. Uh, this is the detail, this is the subtotal, and this is the grand total. So I'd like that to have those labeled as well. So also I'd like to have a little bit of white space. I'd like to have a little bit of uh, space between the detail and the subtotal, and also between the subtotal and the grand total. So actually, there's going to be another video about how to format those kind of things. Uh, but at least I showed you how to make your subtotals. First, we added a group using the group expert. And then we added a subtotal using the insert summary right over there.